Okay, in this example, we have an uh, antenna with impedance of 40 plus J30 ohm connected to a transmission line with the characteristic impedance of 100 ohm. We want to perform impedance matching using a subline which is shorted at the end. To do this, we need to find the required emittance of the stop line and also the suitable point to connect this stop line to the 100 ohm transmission line. That means we need to find the distance between the stop line and the antenna. Then Based on the sub emittance, we can determine the required length of the sub line. Finally, we can determine the standing wave ratio for each section of the transmission line. That means between the source and the sub line, between the sub line and the load which is the antenna and within the stop line itself. First, based on the impedance of the antenna of 40 plus J30 ohm, we need to find the normalized impedance. We can do this by dividing 40 plus J30 by 100 ohm. That gives us a normalized impedance of 0 0.4 plus J0.3. We then plot this impedance on a Smith chart. That point is here. The real part of 0 0.4 is given by the constant resistance circle of 0 0.4 and the imaginal part of J0.3 is given by the constant reactance circle of J0.3. The intersection point between this curve of J0.3 and the constant resistance circle of 0 0.4 gives us the point that represents the normalized impedance of the load. From this point, from this point we can draw a constant mismatch circle. To perform impedance matching, using a stop line. It is better to work with the emittance instead of the impedance because we want to connect the stop line in parallel with the transmission line. The emittance of the load is given by the other side of the constant mismatch circle. So if we draw a line from this point through the center of the signature to the other side of the constant mismatch circle, we can find a point which represents the normalized emittance of the load. In this case, the real part is 1.6 Given, given by the constant conductance circle of 1.6 and the imaginary part is minus J1.2 as given by the constant acceptance uh, curve of minus J1.2. So starting from this point, we want to find the location 
to connect the stop line. There's, there are two suitable locations. This are the location where the real part of the emittance is one. As we know, the emittance along a transmission line will change along the constant mismatch circle. We need to find the point at which the real part of the emittance is one. That is this point and this point, which is the intersection point between the constant mismatch circle and the constant conductance circle of one. So at point A, we get the real part of one and the imaginary part is J1.04. Whereas at point B, the real part is one and the imaginary part is minus J1.04. These are the points where we can connect a stop line to cancel off the imaginary part. That means at point A, we need a stop line that gives us a normalized emittance of minus J1.04. Whereas in point B, where the line emittance is 1 minus J1.04, we need a stop line that cancel off the imaginary part. That means a stop line with an uh, emittance of plus J1.04. So at point A, we need a short-circuited stop line with emittance of minus J1.04. Whereas at point B, we need a stop line short-circuited at the end that gives us a normalized emittance of plus J1.04. We can actually use the formula for uh, impedance of stop line, a uh, short circuited uh, stop line in particular, to find the required length of the stop line. The impedance of a uh, transmission line short circuited at the end. And, and with a length L is given by this formula. The normalized emittance is uh, Z0 over the line impedance, yeah, which is Z0 over Z short circuit. That is the normalized emittance of the stop line. So here, if we take 1 over J tangent beta L, we get minus J cotangent beta L. So if we need a uh, emittance of minus J1.04, we just put uh, uh, this value to be equals to minus j cotangent beta L and then we can find the required length L. Similarly, if we need a stop emittance of plus j 1.04, we just uh, write minus j cotangent beta L equals to plus j 1.04 uh, we can uh, then uh, find the required length L. In other words, uh, with a short-circuited stop, we can get minus J1.04 and 
plus J1.04 using different length for the subline. First, but first, sir, we want to find the emissions of the subline. Minus J1.04 and plus J1.04 are the normalized emittance. The absolute emittance is the normalized emittance multiplied with the normalized emittance, which is 1 over 100. So that gives us the required start emittance uh, plus minus J10.4 millisiemen. Next, we want to find the location to connect the start line. That means we want to find the distance between the start and the antenna. As we said earlier, starting from this point, which represents the emittance of the load, we need to move along the constant mismatch circle clockwise to find a point A and point B where the real part of the emittance is equal to 1. That means Point B, yeah, point B is uh, uh, given by the distance from this point to this point. And point A is given by the distance from this point all the way to point A here. That means the length or the distance between point B and the antenna or the load is given by LB. And the distance uh, between point A and the load or the antenna is given by the distance LA from here all the way to point A. We can read the distance using the scale at the circumference of the Smith chart. Use the wavelength towards generator to find the distance LB from here to here and also to find the distance LA from, from here all the way to here yeah, the line connecting uh, point A to the circumference. We can also find the length LB and LA uh, based on the angle. For example, uh, point A, at point A, we find that the, the, the angle here is 62 degrees, whereas the starting point, which is the load point, we have an angle of minus 39 degrees. The distance LA from here all the way to here yeah, is given by by uh, by uh, 360 degree minus away the angle between between uh, this line connecting A and uh, this black line connecting. YL. This angle is 62 degrees from here to here, 62 degrees 
plus 39 degree from here to here 39 degree right and uh, so uh, uh, this angle yeah this angle correspond to a certain uh, wavelength that is 62 plus 39 degree divided by 720 degree multiply with the wavelength the actual length LA is from here all the way to here but one circle is lambda over 2 yeah from this point back to this point is lambda over 2 to find LA we need to take lambda over 2 minus away this length and yeah, this length which is given by 62 plus 39 divided by 720 times lambda so LA will be given by 0 0.36 lambda for LB yeah, it is simply given by this distance starting from this point which is minus 39 degree to this point which is minus 62 degree the distance from here to here will be 62 minus 39 degree the length in terms of lambda yeah, will be uh, this angle difference divided by 720 times lambda that gives us a length of 0.032 lambda so uh, at a distance of 0.36 lambda away from the antenna we can connect a stop line alternatively at the distance of 0.032 lambda away from the antenna we can connect a stop line with a different length So there are two solutions. As we say earlier, if we choose point A, the required stop emittance is minus J1.04. Whereas if we choose point B, the required stop emittance is positive J1.04. 0.4 for these two stop emittance you can either use the formula earlier use this formula to find the length L alternatively we can also use the Smith chart remember that the stop line short circuited at the end is also a transmission line therefore the input impedance of this transmission line shorted at the end can be found using a Smith chart and also remember that uh, minus J1.04 and plus J1.04 are the emittance so uh, for short circuit the the impedance will be 0 ohm but the emittance will be 1 over 0 which is infinity that means this point represents short circuit <coughs> right so <coughs> starting from the short circuit we move towards generator 
to find the length of the stop line that will give us the susceptance of minus J1.04 will be here. This is the distance of the stop line that will give us the emittance of minus J1.04 which is required the required stop line to be connected at point A. Whereas if we choose point B to connect the stop line, the required uh, subsistence uh, or required emittance of the stop line will be plus J1.04. That means the length of the stop line starting from short circuit here uh, will be from here all the way to this point where the uh, emittance is positive J1.04. The length will be D, DB from here all the way to here to give us a short-circuited start with uh, emittance of plus J1.04 and this stop line is to be connected to point B. For point A, the required stop length is from here to here that will give us a uh, emittance of minus J 1.04. The length is from here to here. The length of the stop line to be connected to point A. The value of DA and DB are 0. 0.1. 1222 two, two, lambda for DA and 0 0.3778 lambda for DB. DA will give us an emittance of minus J1.04. That is the shorter stop line. DB will give us an emittance of J1.04. That is the longer stop line. The longer stop line is to be connected to point B and the shorter stop line is to be connected to point A. So now, to find the standing wave ratio, because the transmission line is now matched yeah, with the uh, stop line, that means the stop line plus the impedance of the antenna will be equals to 100 ohm which is a match load so between the stop line and the generator there will be no standing weight since in a match condition we have maximum power transfer in other words the standing wave ratio between the generator and the stop line the standing wave ratio will be equal to 1. 
but between the start line and the antenna or the load we still have a mismatch yeah that mismatch will give us a standing wave ratio of 2.7 which is the original standing wave ratio given by this point that is touching the constant conductance circle of 2.7 therefore the standing wave ratio is 2.7 as for the stop line because the end of the stop line is short circuited we will have a standing wave ratio of infinity that is the end of this example.